Now in this video we're going to um, import a, a Topcon AG3 file and show you how to export a Trimble multiplane file. First thing we want to do is create a new job, so file, new, I'll call it Dixie Farms 5. Now first thing is check the the units we're using. This will this defaults to the last one you probably used, so here we want it in survey feet. So make sure that's correct. Click on import. You want to import a Topcon AG3 file. And you know, you know, browse to the job, so you might have to change the folder there, but find the job, click on it, click open. Do you want services? Just say say no to that. So it's the default, so just click OK. And it imports the, the surfaces you might want to um, can turn the triangles on. You can see we've got a, a design surface. Now you'll you'll notice at the bottom we're in local coordinates still, um, but we can convert that automatically. Click on tools. The AG3 file had all this data in it. Um, so we want it from local to, to world, click on that. Now these are the two points picked up from Topcon that had latitude and longitude with them. Before we go any further, just click check. And that just gives you a check that the scale before and after is right. That's a distance before, a distance after. You can see there's a bit of scaling and a rotation, but it's within what things you'd sort of expect. So click OK. Are you sure? Yes. You notice that little rotate a little bit um, just make sure before you go any further you've got some contours that that looks sense so click on make sure you've got surface 3 design click on contour and form contours so you can see the contours in there so that probably looks all right I like to check things in Google Earth make sure they look all right so export Google Earth now this is all picked up automatically uh, we should be in the north you guys above the northern hemisphere. Um, different control points and contours. This is just a this is just a check that it's in the right the right spot before you create other sorts of files. Yeah, that looks right. You can see it. Just in Google Earth, you can just check that the rotation looks right and the, so it looks fine. So you've probably got a high confidence if, that the um, multiplane file will be correct. So you want to export a Trimble multiplane, so click on that. Uh, UTM's north, that should be 15. That's not getting picked up, but yeah, it was 15 and it's north. Just tick that, what that means. The job here is in UTM coordinates. That's what Google Earth uses. And that's a grid-based system. Our Trimble uses a, a local system. So you want to rotate it to match what Trimble's using. Now we want to create an export file. Um, call it dixie.txt. Open and click you want the design surface height or if you just want the natural surface you put tick natural surface there click create and that's going to create that file um, so you can find that in file explorer under it's under downloads dixie text and that you know you obviously you specified where it went but that's the file maybe open your notepad have a quick look Because the multiplane file is an ASCII file, so um, you can check that it looks right, and you can see the you can just check that the northing, your lats and longs look right. So I think that looks pretty, pretty good. So we'll go, let's go with there. 